Morocco earthquake, a nation's resilience in the face of disaster. In a tragic turn of events, Morocco was struck by a powerful earthquake just over a week ago, leaving behind a trail of devastation that has shaken the nation to its core. The earthquake, with a magnitude of, insert magnitude, maimed a six-century-old mosque in one of Amizmi's oldest neighborhoods, taking a significant portion of the minaret with it. The impact of the earthquake was immediately visible as buildings crumbled and streets were filled with rubble. In Amizmi's, many lives were tragically lost and some bodies remain unrecovered. The scenes of destruction were heart-wrenching, with entire neighborhoods reduced to ruins. Amidst the chaos, the resilience of the Moroccan people shone brightly. Communities came together to support those in need, and local and international aid organizations rushed to provide assistance. Government agencies and volunteers worked tirelessly to offer shelter, food, and medical care to survivors. The earthquake's impact was not limited to physical destruction, it left emotional scars as well. Many families lost loved ones, and countless lives were forever changed. Abdel Ali, a secondary school teacher, shared his harrowing experience of celebrating his daughter's 21st birthday just moments before the ground shook. His students and friends perished in the disaster, and his family now resides in a tent. The immediate concern for survivors is shelter and safety. Many buildings are no longer safe to inhabit, forcing almost everyone to leave their homes. The lucky ones have found refuge in government-provided shelters, while others sought assistance from hotels that offered free accommodation, exemplifying the Moroccan spirit of solidarity. However, challenges persist. The school system faces disruptions, with classes held in tents, risking the education of an entire generation of students. Basic services like banking have been severely affected, requiring people to travel long distances for essential transactions. As winter approaches, the fear of living in thin tents under snow-covered slopes looms large. This part of Morocco, already one of the poorest and least developed, faces an uphill battle in the aftermath of the earthquake. Criticism of the government's slow response has been voiced, with bureaucracy and hierarchy hindering efficient aid distribution. Foreign support will likely be needed for a reconstruction effort of this magnitude, although Morocco has declined offers of help, including from France, at least for now. The Moroccan people, however, have shown remarkable resilience and solidarity, coming together to provide for the survivors' needs. Morocco's spirit remains unbroken despite the earthquake's devastation. While Amizmis may no longer be the picturesque town it once was, the nation's determination to rebuild and support one another shines as a beacon of hope in these challenging times.